so <clears throat> hello everybody and welcome to your next c plus plus lego 5 tutorial in this tutorial we're going to be adding some player inputs uh to get stuff started right so we can get our player moving so we're going to go to uh input manager dot h and we're going to say uh is key down and we're going to take in a key we're not going to worry about multiple keys yet uh, just to save time in the tutorial if we have time in the end we'll put that in uh, but we'll say input manager is key down and we'll take in our key so one other thing that we gotta uh, add in as well is uh, we'll put void update okay and we'll add this update at the top or wherever you want to put it so in this update so in this update what's going to happen is that we're just going to say does this work okay so we're going to say al get keyboard state and uh, we'll pass in the key state that we have okay so that's all that updates gonna do uh, so it's when we say is uh, key down we're gonna say if uh, al key down and we pass in our key state and we'll pass in our key Sorry, ampersand key state and there if that is true then we return true else we return false so it's an easy function to create so we create that now we're going to go to our player.h and we're going to create an enum called direction and i'm creating the direction like this down left right and up and the reason why i'm doing it is like this so let me open up my image So in this image, uh, as you can see, the top row is down, second row is left, third row is right, and fourth row is up. And we need, to, and um, th that's the reason why I named it like that. So down is going to be equal to zero, left is one, right is uh, two, up is um, three, yeah, up is three, sorry, zero, one, two, three, yeah. So what we're going to do is create a direction variable. And for those of you guys who um, follow naming conventions for enums, how they're all supposed to be uppercase, uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't really care for that. So, But if you care about it all being uppercase, then by all means, do that. Right? Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to set our direction in our update equals to direction down. Okay? So the direction is going to be facing down. So now in our update, we're going to say that input dot is key down. And we're going to say Allegro key down. So if that's down, then we will, for now, all we're going to do is modify the direction. So we're going to say direction is equal to direction down. Else if input dot is key down allegro key up direction is equal to direction up so for the other two um, I, I hope you're guessing well you probably know what's going to come next so allegro key right Direction is equal to direction right. And last but not least, and you know what? Let me just copy this. Put left there. And put left there. Okay? So, uh, that should just change the direction. Okay? So, um, and we're going to put else right here when to say is active p animation 
dot is active is equal to false. So at the top of this update, we're gonna call input manager dot update. I know we're gonna call input dot update, which is gonna update the key state, and we're gonna set p animation is active equals to true. So by default it's true, and then if we're not pressing any button, it's gonna set it to false. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. So we're gonna say p animation dot current frame dot second is equal to our direction okay so that way uh, we will depending on which way we're facing then we will f actually face that direction and then we do everything else according to uh, how we're gonna do it so let's run this to see if this actually works So the player's racing down, not doing anything. When I hold down, it's doing the movie animation. When I press right, it won't change. So when I press up, it changes. When I press right, it doesn't change. When I press left, it doesn't change. But it changes vertically and horizontally. So let's uh, let's see exactly what is going on here. The problem is that I put equals equals, and I should just put one equal sign. So let's just run this one more time. So when I press right, it moves right, left moves left, up, and down. So let's check how much time we have. So we do have time to add in some movement. So over in here, okay, we already have something for move speed. Uh, did we set anything in our load content? No, we did not. So right now we're going to set move speed. Move speed equal to... 10 or something I don't know uh, so we're just gonna set that move speed so we're gonna say position dot second plus equals move speed and position dot second minus equals move speed position dot dot first plus equals move speed and last but not least position dot first minus equals move speed okay so we got that set now look at this now when we run this look what's gonna happen so we're pressing it and our position is not being modified how come the thing is that we are we're using the animation to draw the position the player's position we're not actually using the actual player's position to do that so what we have to do is put p animation dot and we don't have anything for position but for now we'll just put position is equal to a position so let's go to our animation class now uh and we will make another std pair and we will call this position and we'll go to animation.cpp and we'll put up prayer std pair should be ampersand position and we're returning the position so let's go back to animation.h put an ampersand in front of that and we're cool so hopefully this should run correctly and we got an error so change to a capital P Run this one more time. And we got yet another error. So let's see what this is. So, oh, the position in our animation is a float value, but everywhere, 
yeah, so we I we set this to int, but it should be float. So let's change this to float. Hopefully this works. Hopefully third time's a charm. And this works. So when we move it, it moves according to the speed we set it to. Now it's moving kind of fast, so you can modify it to your liking. But the important part is that it's working. So that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. If you have a problem, you can post the code and the problem on my forum. Uh, so that is it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. And bye.